So today, me and my partner are gonna teach you what is the drug carboprost, its functions, interactions, and etc. So first and foremost, what is carboprost? So it is a form of prostaglandin that helps control functions in the body such as blood pressure and muscle construction. It is used to treat severe bleeding after childbirth or postpartum. So first, we're gonna discuss about the drug name. So the generic name of carboprost is carboprost, while the brand names that are in the Philippines, which are FDA approved, consist of Hermabate, Endoprost, and Evaprost. The chemical name is very long, so I'm just gonna put it here. This is its chemical name. So I'm gonna show you some pictures of the drug. Drug classifications include therapeutic and pharmacologic. Its therapeutic is abortifacient. So, abortifacient is, is a substance that induces abortion. This is a non-specific term which may refer to any number of substances or medications ranging from herbs to prescription medications. Its pharmacologic classification is it is an oxytocic prostaglandin which is used in labor. So oxytocin stimulates the uterine muscles to contract and also increase the production of prostaglandins which increase the contractions further. In pregnancy category, I am in category C because either studies in animals have revealed adverse effects on the fetus and there are no controlled studies in women and animals are not available. And now for its mechanism of actions or pharmacodynamics. For example, I am the carboprost. I am a synthetic analog of naturally occurring prostaglandin. So I will bind with the prostaglandin E2 receptor that is in the body and, and I will cause some myometrial contractions in the body and I will cause the induction of labor or the expulsion of the placenta. So to sum it all up, prostaglandins are naturally occurring substance in the body and this drug carboprost helps the prostaglandins in the womb for the muscles to contract more. Another mechanism of action for carboprost it is the carboprost thermethanine. So for example, I am the carboprost thermethanine. I will stimulate the smooth muscles of the GI tract. So it is also used, this drug is also used for terminating pregnancy and especially for postpartum. Take note that this drug may produce vomiting or diarrhea when it is used. As a drug, I have a movement into, through, and out of the body, which is called the pharmacokinetics. In pharmacokinetics, it includes absorption, distribution, metabolism, and excretion. In absorption, I rapidly absorb following intramuscular administration. Time to peak for plasma concentration is about 20 to 30 minutes. In distribution, I cross the placenta. In metabolism, I undergo metabolism via omega oxidation. In excretion, I am excreted via urine, mainly as metabolites. Next is its indications. So this drug is from its therapeutic classification, it is an abortifacient. Abortifacient, which means it's highly used in abortions. So for adult, its root is intramuscular, it is used in pregnancy terminations in the second trimester and I'm gonna show you its dosage details. Next, drug indication is for adult. It is used for females that have come from postpartum hemorrhage. So I'm gonna show you the dosage details. The contraindications 
I am contraindicated in patients hypersensitive and in those with acute pelvic inflammatory disease or active cardiac, pulmonary, renal, or hepatic disease. I am cautiously used in patients with a history of asthma, hypertension, hypertension, cardiovascular, renal, or hepatic disease, anemia, jaundice, epilepsy, diabetes, compromised uterus, or chorioaminitis. So, I'm back for the carbapro side and adverse effects. So, the first effect is CNS on the CNS. It affects the CNS in a way that a person can have headache, anxiety, hot flashes, paresthesia, syncope, weakness, and fever. For the CV, we have chest pain, arrhythmias, and flushing. The EENT, we have blurred vision and eye pain. For the GI or the gastrointestinal tract, we have vomiting, as I've mentioned earlier, diarrhea, and nausea. For the GU, we have the endometritis, the uterine rupture, uterine or vaginal pain. For the musculoskeletal system, it is common with backache. For the respiratory system, we have cough and wheezing. For the skin, we a person might have rash or diaphoresis. And for others, include and for others includes chills, breast tenderness, leg cramps. The nursing responsibilities before administering: monitor frequency, duration, and force of contraction and uterine resting tone of the patient. If the contractions are absent or last more than one minute, notify the physician or other healthcare professional. Monitor temperature, pulse, and blood pressure of the patient periodically throughout the course of therapy because large dose may cause hypertension. Temperature elevation of the patient beginning 1 to 16 hours after the initiation of therapy and lasting for several hours is not unusual. Ascultate the breath sounds of the patient. Because wheezing and sensation of chest tightness may indicate hypersensitivity reaction. Assess nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea to the patients. Vomiting and diarrhea occurs in approximately two thirds of the patients. If there have been occurrences in these to the patients, there are premedications with antimetic and antidiarrheal as recommended. Monitor the amount and type of vaginal discharge of the patient. If there are symptoms of hemorrhage occurrences, like increased bleeding, hypotension, tachycardia, and pallor, do notify the physician or other healthcare professional immediately. So during a nurse's responsibility is to avoid contact with skin. Thoroughly wash skin immediately after spillage. Next is opioid analgesic may be given for uterine clamps like what I've said earlier in the effects. Its side effect is consist of uterine cramps. Next is store it in the refrigerator. Another nursing responsibility while administering in the intri intramuscular is administer it deep. Dose may be repeated every 1.5 to 3.5 hours and rotate sites. Next nursing responsibility is you have to explain the purpose of vaginal examination. Its purpose is to assess for trauma to cervix. Next, the nurse must instruct the patient to notify healthcare professionals immediately if fever and chills, foul smelling, vaginal discharge, lower abdominal pain, or increased bleeding occurs. The nursing responsibilities after administering Evaluate complete abortion of the patient. Evaluate 
evaluate the control of closed part of a post abortal hemorrhage of the tissue. So that is it for today guys. I hope you learned something about the drug carboprost and that's all. Bye.